because you'll just end up eating complete death. And again, we'll see that more with later levels, but I think you get what I mean, though. It's <laughs> we'll see. I'm doing this whole box jumping thing pretty well. Hold up, life. Always got to grab them, boys. Well, see you later. <laughs> see you later, Tana. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I can't even get the box jump for the level, but oh well. Not too big of a deal. Can do the Brio level, though. Nice. Worked out pretty well there. Alright. What's up, buddy? Bye, buddy. <laughs> he said not a, not a me, and he dipped. Alright. Time for some more, more platforming shenanigans. But yeah, I guess that should just give you a taste of the the Brio levels. They're basically just a harder uh, a harder bonus room, I guess, to put it one way. And it's what's nice about this rendition of Crash 1 on the Insane Trilogy is that you can retry the bonus levels because the boxes for those levels uh, do count towards the box total. So the fact that you can redo them, I think is pretty huge. I think that helps a lot. But we've got our next level here, Hogwild. This is one of our first uh, rideable mount levels, and uh, these are this, these are definitely pretty tricky. I call them I almost call them trial and error in one way or in one fashion because you kind of have to know a little bit of what's coming ahead, but at the same time, you know, if, if you're adaptive enough, I think you'll probably manage. At the very least. I mean, it's definitely pretty tight, as you've probably seen just from those uh, natives, but it's not impossible, I would think. You just kind of get, you just kind of have to get down the control and the overall movement. But yeah, snagging these boxes, though, this ain't too bad. Pretty. Pretty straightforward though. Nothing again. Nothing too crazy. Just gotta make sure you jump at the right time. Make the right movements at the right moments. And there you go. Another gem to add to the pile. We're at 19%. Alright, doing pretty good. I will say Crash 1 isn't exactly a long game either. I should uh I should make note of that. It's not in all too long of a game. I'd say probably it would take you around like six to eight hours to beat. Maybe even less if you're not going for all the box gems. Which I can't imagine most people doing these days, but hey, I like doing it just because it's kind of a... It's fun to do. You know, it's just it gives you, gives you a reason to keep playing the game more. If you already enjoy the game, then you know, you just, just want to see how much more you can kind of pad it out for yourself until, uh, Everything comes to a close. Let's go ahead and mosey our way over. Yeah, I got our checkpoint. I don't think we can get... Again, this is probably another level we can't get the box gem for, so... I wouldn't place my bets on us getting it anytime soon here. I forgot we gotta hit that at the right time. There we go. Up to 38 lives, though. Doing pretty good. I will say, the uh, some of the later levels, and for those that know, the bridge levels, those might give me some trouble. It's because the platforming there is pretty tight, to say, uh, one way. But we'll see. We'll see how well it fares. Ooh, that's a shame. Alright, let's get on over. Ooh, gotta be careful there. What's up, buddy? See ya. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot. We don't even have Aku Aku right now. Oops. That'll do it. I thought I had just enough of a jump there. Uh, but I guess I didn't hold the A button. Uh. <laughs> uh, that's a shame. That do be a shame. Right, here we go. Let's not mess this up. Let's let's keep him let's keep pushing forward here. Alright, let's see if we can actually get these lives. I'm good. See ya. And we got another bonus room. Alright. Not too bad at all. There we go. Only like a few boxes. Wow. I mean, we got two lives, but it's only five. I'm thinking a little more than that. Yeah, to get across these, you do basically, you know, we saw these before, but you kind of just do a little spin. Then you'll make your way on over. We grab that Aku Aku. I just think I think we can get it. Or I can miss it entirely. That's okay. Go ahead and make our way back up. A little tip for those that are playing the game though right now on the Insane Trilogy. When it comes to jumping on these, you want to just hold the jump button down. Don't think that you have to, you know, hit the A button or the X button at the exact moment that you land on the box. You can just hold it down, you'll be fine. Uh, but you can, but here's a little secret way you can take. Uh, so that way you don't have to deal with all the obstacles. And I say, it's a nice little way to take, to get through. Well, I do not want to get burned though. That much is certain. Yeah, these are going to be some interesting little fires to deal with. See ya, monkey. Here we go. Just trying to remember which one it was, because you do have to kind of go into the background a little bit. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different level, though. Maybe not. Maybe this is a level. We'll see. Okay. Oh, hang on. Yeah, so that little part of the wall you want to jump onto because you will take damage. Uh, you don't have enough of a speed to be able to get through that. I mean, unless if you're speed running, in which you'll probably have to take the hit. So you will need a Naku Aku if you don't have one. Probably the end of the run for you. Okay. Go ahead and grab these boxes, why not? Oh, no. I thought I had it. Okay, we'll get it on the way back up. It won't be a big deal. There we go. The Wumpa Fruit I don't really care about. <laughs> Not too much caring for the Wumpa Fruit. I will say, so, uh, obviously, you know, Crash 4, It's About Time came out. I haven't played it yet. I own it on Switch because I wanted to play it on there. But, uh, I'm curious to see how well, uh, Crash 4 is, uh, is well received with regards to the community. Uh, just because I know, you know, a lot of people, uh, kind of myself included, were waiting for a new Crash game, and I, I'm still... I've just been trying to essentially clear out my backlog of games, and, you know, <laughs> that in itself is quite a feat to pretty much take, because how many games get released, how many games get recommended, it's kind of overwhelming, not gonna lie. I'm kind of surprised when people are able to really, like, run through their backlog like it's nothing. 
Or not. Maybe everyone else is kind of just internally struggling to clear out the backlog. Makes sense. Yeah, so the purple plants, you do have to play a little bit of the waiting game on. You can't just jump on them willy-nilly like these red ones. There is a set time you have to worry about. But yeah, not too bad, though. Not too bad. Ooh, that was close. I think I might need to redo this level. Oh, wait, no. Okay. I thought, because we're going to need to come back here. I will say that right now. Yeah. So we hit this. I want to play the waiting game a little bit. Run back. I don't know why they didn't outline the boxes here, but you do need to hit that. Um, and Like, there's boxes here that you do need to hit. And uh, I just wanted to show that off for those that are that are attempting to do 100%. That is one of those weird instances where, for some reason, the game doesn't showcase that. I mean, it was the same in the original, but you, know, you think they would have uh, maybe outlined it. <laughs> Been like, hey, there's boxes back here, you silly. like that we got ourselves another taunter bonus room Ooh, okay i normally like to hold my jumps or get high jumps here just because i don't want to fall to my death and make it look odd but you know what i think we'll be all right though And just like that, we are done. I'll say it would be pretty funny if you could fall off the platform right there. But it's one of those instances where I don't think you can. I think there's like an invisible wall that keeps you anywhere else along the pathway though. And you will absolutely fall to your death. And just like that, another box gem, baby. Bingo. All right. So far, so good. Looks like we got Ripperoo this time. The next boss to take down. So Ripperoo, you know, obviously he's quite the goofy lad here. Just a little bit. We got some big TNT boxes here. And uh, what you want to do is you want to activate them and have them pretty much be near the box itself. Getting the timing down is going to be a little weird. I won't lie. You can kind of see that even I can't do it. <laughs> Maybe we'll get it with this one. Oh, that was too soon. Come on, buddy. There we go. One hit in. And this is this is the only way you can damage him, so do make note of that. Oh, I thought he was going to go the other way. Rip. Just be careful of your platforming here, because if you fall in the water, it's basically a death. <laughs> That's the only thing I'd really say that's a big warning about this level or this boss fight. I don't know, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing too crazy here. And there you go. You know, I low-key thought this was gonna take a lot longer, and I'm glad it didn't. That's all I'm gonna say now. <laughs> there we go. The Lost Cities. So this is going to be a level in which we need to do without messing up once.